hello guys so in the previous video I explained you what a linked list is some basics of linked list and in this video and next few videos I will show you how to write a program on linked list now in a linked list program these three things are used first is pointer second is structure basically in a linked list program this type of structure is defined and a structure is defined using the struct keyword and the third is malloc now malloc is a function which is used for dynamic memory allocation and in case of a linked list the nodes of a linked list are created using this malloc function now the first thing you do before writing any program is include some header files and for this program you need to include stdlib.h header file and if you don't include this header file then you won't be able to use malloc function because this malloc function is a part of stdlib.h and malloc function is used to allocate memory for a node now I will write this program using C language now the first thing you do is define a structure using struct keyword and then the name of the structure you can name it anything but node seems to be more appropriate now basically a structure is used to group data of different data types and in this structure also I have grouped data of two different data types the first type is integer and the second type is struct node this link is a pointer variable of type struct node now just as a pointer can be of type integer there can be an integer pointer there can be a float pointer in the same way a pointer can also be of type structure under the same name under the same structure that you have defined now you can imagine this whole structure as this there is a node and the info part of the node stores value of type int if you want your node to store value of type float then you can change it to float now the link part of a node stores the address of the next node and an address is stored using a pointer this is why this link is a pointer variable now initially a link list is always empty and a link list is empty when the value of start is equal to null and null has a predefined meaning in C it means empty or nothing so for this I can declare a new pointer variable named start of type struct node and I can initialize start with null and when start is equal to null it means link list is empty the link list contains no nodes this is because start always stores the address of the first node in the link list so even if there is one node in the link list start will store the address of that node and if there is no node in the link list then start will store no address start will be equal to null this is the complete program on linked list and this program has different functions like function to display information from the node function to add a node at the beginning of the list function to count the number of nodes etc now there are functions of type struct node pointer in this program and don't get confused by this because just as a function can be of type int and that function should return an integer value just as a function can be of type float and that function should return a float value and just as a function can be of type int pointer and that function should return a pointer value and the pointer should be of type int in the same way a function can also be of type struct node pointer which means this function should return a pointer value of type struct node 
Now this while one is an infinite loop and it will not allow this program window to terminate on its own unless I choose option 9 which is exit or click on this cross button. These printf statements just display a message to the user that enter 1 to display, enter 2 to add and so on. And with the help of this scanf statement, I am able to enter this 1 as input and this 1 will go into this switch statement and this switch statement will execute an appropriate case based on the input that I have given and in this case, case 1 will get executed which is display. So you may see this while one loop has also done its job because when this case 1 is executed then this display function gets called after executing the display function this break statement is executed and with the help of this break statement the control goes out of this switch statement and reaches while one loop and while one is an infinite loop so all these printf statements again gets executed which you can see here. Now in the next video I will show you how to write the display function. First declare the display function then call it from the main and then write the display function outside the main function. Now the main benefit of writing the display function at the start is that after creating the display function I will create a function to add nodes to a linked list. So you will be able to see the output of that function using the display function so you won't have to wait for the complete program to finish and then view the output so this is the end of the of this video see you in the next video and thanks for watching